Hi everyone, my name is Bethany Allen. I am a pastor at Bridgetown Church in the heart of Portland, Oregon. Your verse of the day comes from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, which says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. A living hope. Now, hope is a word that we throw around a lot in today's day and age, mostly because no matter where you're at, what circumstances you find yourself in, or where you live, you probably need a little bit of it. You see, hope is the fuel for the human soul. It's what moves us forward, and it's a reality that we have to access in the kingdom of God. The problem is, hope doesn't always feel like it's enough especially when it comes up against those harsh realities and circumstances that we find ourselves in in everyday life. So what is this living hope that Peter is talking about in our verse today? Well, right off the bat, Peter begins and makes a clear distinction about this kingdom hope, that it's distinctly different from the hope that the world offers. It's marked by two realities. One, that it's given to us, and two, that it's living. Now, this word given can also be translated uh, catalyzed into or caused by, which basically means that our hope is caused by something. And Peter says that is the resurrection and death of Jesus. Now, he goes on to say that it's also a living hope, which is critical. It's essential to get that because this is what Peter's going after, that our hope is so different from the world because it's based not on a circumstance or our comprehension or understanding of what's happening around us, but more based on the reality and the person of Jesus, who is living and active, meaning that our hope is alive. It's based on an actual person. From this scripture and from other scriptures, we know that hope can be defined as coming good based on the character and the nature of God. And that reality changes everything. I wonder if there is an invitation for us today to embrace this truth in a new way, to hold it up against the circumstances or problems that we find ourselves in and to invite this reality to disrupt and even reset, maybe even reorient the posture of our heart as we're going after the things that Jesus is inviting us to. There's an encouragement here to look at your circumstances and to trust in your living hope in Jesus himself and the coming good that he brings and to allow that to change you and how you show up in the world.